What is going on guys and gals, Tyler here, and today I'm bringing you another Mortal Kombat X Topic video. And today I'm bringing you some incredible news that confirms Predator from Mortal Kombat X. If you didn't already know, Jason Voorhees has already been confirmed from MKX, which left many fans wondering who would be the second guest character. And of course, now we know that this second guest character is the infamous warrior, well, no, I shouldn't say warrior, but the infamous Predator, shown here. So Predator wasn't really shown in an image or anything, like most of the other leaks from Mortal Kombat X were. Instead, Xbox, yes, Xbox or Microsoft, released the leak, which obviously must have left NetherRealm Studios incredibly pissed off at Microsoft. Or maybe, just maybe, Ed Boon wanted people to know. Maybe he's working with Bill Gates. Maybe they're both a part of the Illuminati. Or maybe not. So anyways, here's an image of what happened. So as you can see, Xbox's information about the Mortal Kombat, I mean about the combat pack, reels Predator as a character. Now, how the hell did Ed Boon let this happen? Then again, I really shouldn't be complaining. This is going to be incredible. Seeing Predator make his way into the Mortal Kombat universe with his immense arsenal of deadly weapons and attacks, he should be an amazing fighter to play as. Sadly, the combat pack itself costs $30. Yes, you heard me right. $30 freaking dollars! That's half the game's price for a mere four characters. Who those other two characters are is unknown at the moment. In other Mortal Kombat news, as you might already know from the livestream, quitalities are a thing now, where if your opponent quits midway through a match, their head will explode. Pretty awesome, and a jab at the rage quitters that are scattered about through the Mortal Kombat community. Although, think about it, wouldn't you quit too if when you're going on an online match and you go up against your opponent who plays new and keeps on spamming goddamn shadow moves that are nearly unblockable, and then when you finally get close to him, he does the stupid shadow- Okay, never mind, let's not bring up the nightmares. One final thing I want to mention is the Samurai Pack, which includes alternate costumes for Shinnok, Kenshi, and Gitana, all in samurai-like forms. Now, other than this being a pretty cool addition, what does this have to do with anything? Well, this practically confirms Shinnok as playable. Now, think about it like this. Why would Netherrealm put in an alternate costume for sale for a non-playable character? It just really doesn't make sense. That is, unless they're all cheapskates and want to rob everyone of their hard-earned cash. So this really downright confirms Shinnok is playable for Mortal Kombat X, because I think Ed Boon has a bit more dignity than that. So if you want to see these leaks for yourself, you can just search Mortal Kombat X on the Xbox Store if you have an Xbox One or a 360, and if you don't and you're a PlayStation or PC user, you can just go on the website xbox.com or microsoft.com and find it from there. Also, on a final note, if you were wondering why I'm not posting as much Mortal Kombat stuff recently, and why I won't be posting that much Mortal Kombat stuff until the game comes out, it's simply because I really want the majority of the game to be a surprise to me. Although that sounds really stupid, but it's true. And I don't watch too and I don't really want too much to be revealed to me right off the bat. That's also why I haven't watched chapter one of the story trailer yet, because I want the entire game, other than maybe DLC characters, to be a surprise. But don't worry, if any leaks like this one come out, I will be covering them. All that I'm saying is that if a character's downright confirmed, I'm probably, I'm like, not like this, but like, Ed Boon, or there's a trailer that comes out, I probably won't be covering it unless it's, like, a really important thing. Well, there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment down below what you think of Predator being pr playable. And hey, while you're at it, you might as well hit that subscribe button for more awesome Mortal Kombat and other gaming videos. Thanks for watching once again, and I am out.